All right, guys, it's been a while since I've done, you know, these old school strength book reviews. And uh, so let's get into it. That's it, guys. So Zach Evanesh here behind the camera from the Underground Strength Gym. I recently picked up two of Paul Kelso's books. The other one is upstairs in my room. This is his Shrug book, which I've known about since my first, you know, early days as a strength coach in the early 2000s. And I also have his book that I'm reading. I just can't put it down. It's called um, Powerlifting Basics, Texas Style, The Adventures of Lope Delk. It's basically stories, um, you know, fictional characters about starting a strength club in a Catholic university and then with workouts interspersed in them. But this shrug book is great. Um, just giving me more ideas for shoulder health. There's some photos in here. And, uh, you know, it's basically you want to implement that conjugate method. So we got the chinning shrug or inverted shrugs, the bench shrug, which is a real interesting one, cable shrugs while leaning back. And I, I've even seen Matt Wenning doing some of the recent shrugs. This is, you know, that like tricep bench dip shrug. I do the shrugs from the dip bar. We got regular shrugs here. It's a great book to just open up your mind, inspire you, and, and add more exercises to the repertoire of, of your uh, training program. Okay, Greg Leisner, one of Dr. Ken's adopted sons. It's just cool stuff, man. I love this. So highly recommended, but actually more recommended, is his book, um, Powerlifting Basics, The Adventures of Lope, Lope Delk. Uh, my buddy Josh Rondow, made this uh, copy for me. I could not find this book anywhere. John Cook. John Cook speaks on powerlifting. And uh, this guy's an animal. I kind of bookmarked this to go over some nutrition with you guys. And it's just a, a complete list of all these workouts he did, his diet for gaining weight, diet on maintaining, uh, basic min vitamin and mineral. And uh, it's really cool. I love these old books because there's such an emphasis, you know, on brilliance with the basics, simple things done savagely well. John Cook was just a savage. I mean, look at this guy. Fires me up just seeing these photos. And a lot of routines. Those are always exciting because as a coach, this photo has always been inspiring. I mean, look at the size of him. <laughs> it's the savage. As a coach, sometimes you want to take your mind out of, you know, I've been training for so long. Sometimes I'm like, let me see. Let me see what I can, you know, pull and pick and choose and cherry pick from these programs. And uh, his programs were pretty high volume and uh, hard work. Look at these uh, beginner and intermediate routines. You know, you're squatting, you're deadlifting, you're doing T-bar rows, pull-ups, you're doing full body workouts. Such a reminder of how much energy you had as a kid. You know, how much time I would spend in the gym. And then I, I like this like basic diet he's on, you know, five eggs, throw out two of the yolks, um, <clears throat> four slices of whole wheat toast, two glasses of milk, some fruit. I, I like it, man. If I was doing this for athletes, I would tell them, uh, well, if they had to kind of gain weight, I'd say five whole eggs and uh, these slices of wheat toast, put some uh, Kerrygold butter on it. Look at the lunch can of tuna. He's got it packed in oil. I remember when I ate tuna in my young years, I would just put one spoon of mayo in there. Not a big deal. He's got fruit at every meal. Dinner is going to be some sort of meat or fish, plenty of water, veggies, and more fruit in a salad. Real, real basic. I would sneak in a protein shake there and some sort of a snack. Uh, nighttime milk. He's be skim milk and then uh, pure bran. I guess I'm not sure if that was a uh, some sort of a cereal, or they just mix it in, a lot of water, and then you can see his vitamins. Three grams of vitamin C a day. He's having high protein tablets, which are, you know, branched chain amino acids, vitamin B, vitamin E, bone meal, alfalfa, and a multivitamin. And then what else would we add? Vitamin D. So this is a great book. A lot of, uh, a lot of programs in here, exactly what he did, you know, look with the dates, his body weight, very regimented lifter. And you know what's interesting too is these guys have world records when, what support gear did they have? 
nothing. <laughs> Look at this, um, you know, singlet that he's in. I mean, it's nothing. It's it's not really giving him much support. And this guy, I think he deadlifted over 900 pounds. So can we argue with him? Look at these knee sleeves. They look like ace bandages. Okay? Strong is strong. Here's one I haven't reviewed, but one of my favorites from my buddy Jimmy Steele. Um, these are not available as physical books. I just, I still like books. I like the smell of books. And so I printed his book out. It's his book of programs along with his other book. I also like that the font is big. So my eyes are not getting destroyed. And um, it's it's great. It's just a great book. You know, this is, I love, you know, still in touch with his staff from when they were at UPenn. Bodybuilding training, assistance training. Um, these were just tough workouts that Jim went through. And it was inspiring to read about these. And look at this. <laughs> look at the, like, a lot of sprint work. 20 yards, sprint back. Take 70% of your squat. Seven sets of five, sprawls, you know, so kind of incorporating some combat training. Press 75% superset with side laterals, go nuts. <laughs> like, I love that. There's nothing, you know, pretty about it. I've seen him lift. I, I was there once training and Jim was training, hitting a heavy bag. Of course, here's all of our friends, Christy, Kirk, Tracy, Marty, and Jim. You know, these guys, these guys are just great. Uh, power clean workout, six weeks to a new power clean max. He, he incorporates a lot of stories. And so that's, I love to learn through stories. Uh, Rob Wagner, who I need to really get on the podcast. He doesn't do any social media stuff, but I believe he was a world champion. And I think one of the best squatters in the world. I remember hearing stories about him going and beating the Russians in Russia. And uh, then we got this uh, next book which is his stories, Steel Reflections. So if you're going to buy uh, Jim's e-books, get them both. You know, Jim is partial to living in Maryland. <laughs> Maryland pride, but such a great, you know, autobiography slash training manual and uh, just great stuff. Talking about football, boys clubs back in the day, what advice from his coaches, okay, playing football in JUCO. Great, great book. Highly recommended. I would actually recommend this book even for high school athletes. They could learn so much from it instead of watching so much of the crap on the YouTubes. Okay? Great stuff. And Jim was very strong. Okay? Best lifts in training. So good. Talks about his son. A lot of stories, and I think that's what you guys need to read. You need to learn from guys who have been training, and they're, they not only have results for themselves, but they've also coached thousands upon thousands of kids. So that's it, guys. Simple but effective. All kinds of different programs. You can get a lot out of these. Good luck finding this book. This is a tough one to find. Luckily, my buddy Josh sent it to me. Um... Get the books by Paul Kelso. If you're up in the air, which one you're going to get, I'm going to recommend his other book, The uh, Powerlifting Basics, The Adventures of Lope and Delk. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please drop a comment below. If you're here on YouTube, of course, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. I appreciate you guys.